for us to be a, a to, to to be a country of excellent quality or of quality in general and excellence we must be a developed country in science whenever you see a country that is producing pr quality products that country will have developed science develop mathematics not just in the classrooms but in the to the point of the way of thinking of the people you mentioned uh, mathematics sciences Nigerians will say that we do math I mean math we do mathematics in school we have sciences in our you are in our curriculum. college in our curriculum and as a matter of fact, uh, for you to gain entrance into uh, be it college or be it university, you, you need to get at least a C in English and in maths. So Nigerians would debate with you and say, okay, what do you mean that we don't, that, I mean, we have it. So is that, is that what you're talking about or, is, or are we missing something? No, that's not what I'm talking about. That kind of mathematics that you are talking about is not on a mass uh, national subconscious level. Okay. When I talk about math, uh, understanding and develop mathematic, mathematics in a society, I'm talking about mathematics becoming um, a default mode of living, lifestyle, mathematical... Uh, thinking and mathematical understanding of life, mathematical translation of life. What does that look like? Okay, what we have in Nigeria right now is more like science and mathematics are subjects in the classrooms. Okay. They have not been brought to the level of cause and effect on daily basis. So an ordinary Nigerian doesn't know what is what the scientific uh, laws are responsible for everyday thing that they see around them, even after passing mathematics in classroom, mm -hmm. because in classrooms they just doing a subject by cramming it and knowing the formula, just giving it, but they are not applying it to everyday mm -hmm. life. So, uh, for most Nigerians, even. They say, I, I, I don't go there, you fall, you fall. But they might not even be able to tell you the Lord is responsible for that. Ah, it's going to rain, it's going to rain. They will even tell you that some people have called rain to come. Yeah. It is some spirit or mm -hmm. some... Even though those same people finish school and they read in, in science that, mm -hmm. you know, there's uh, scientific laws that are responsible for that. Mm -hmm. Nigeria doesn't uh, associate science with life. We don't live our life scientifically. Mm -hmm. Our life is not based on sciences of understanding the laws of nature. Because in paganism, where we are coming from, our worldview mm -hmm. doesn't understand. World view, paganistic worldview doesn't uh, bring into bearing on you know, science on daily basis. So let's say you are sick in paganism. Or which is the basis of the African tradition, African oh, society, yeah. African worldview. So let's say somebody is sick. Nobody will tell you that, okay, is there, are there some germs responsible for that? Is there uh, an outbreak of virus or, you know, something like that that is going on? Mm -hmm. Is there an epidemic? They will not tell you that. They will not even look to do the research to find out what is the cause and effect. Right. So what is responsible for this outbreak? Is there a jam? Is there a pollution? Is there a poison? They will just tell you it is some spiritual or some mystical understanding. They will always bring everything down to mysticism. Mm -hmm. So what, you want to talk to me about mathematics in Nigeria? Even church people will tell you like that. Mm -hmm. Even grown-up people, professors will talk like that. That mm -hmm. it is somebody from my village, or it is some uh, evil spirit, mm -hmm. or some witchcraft, or some relatives that are after. They, do, they don't give scientific understanding to real life issues. If your their business collapses, they will say somebody is behind mm -hmm. it, or it's because I didn't pay tight. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Or I didn't take money to, I didn't thank that pastor when they, that's why they were saying colors. They will not give you a scientific explanation about the loss of the market and what has happened to commerce industry and the market and inflation and things like that. Those things doesn't exist. <laughs> in in mm. our worldview that we represent, those things don't exist. Mm. So we don't we are still living according to the worldview of people who are coming from the bush. Hmm. We don't have science as the basis of our society. I don't know if you are getting what I'm yes, saying. Yes, I do. So when you talk I about do. mathematics, they don't even know where to use it. The only place they might think about mathematics is when it comes to counting money. But that's not mathematics. Hmm. Hmm. Mathematics is responsible for the light we see. Mathematics is responsible for the car you drive. Mathematics is responsible for the plane you see, you, you fly. Mathematics is responsible for the, even the food that you are growing. But if, you, if a farmer grow, grow, grows uh, some food, they'll say, oh, God has given us harvest this year. But you can calculate that harvest and predict it. That's why an average Nigerian would debate with you when you say life is predictable. They cannot fathom me. Now, what do you mean by life is predictable? Because for them, life, life is a mystery. Life is a mystery. They, their life is based on mysticism, darkness, unknown. They believe that something from outside of them controls the world. Instead of believing that God has already put the Lord. laws and principles and fixed laws on everything, the responsible for everything that we see around us. It is that, when you begin to think like that, that's when you begin to have scientific view of life. Mm -hmm. And then life becomes explainable because you, dis you begin to search and to discover the laws that are responsible mm -hmm. for whatever you see. Then you begin to find the cause. And when you find the cause, then you'll be able to reproduce the effect or stop the effect, right. or multiply the effect, or reduce the effect. Hmm. But our people, they will say, go and do sacrifice, or go and give offering. Or go and pray in church. Yeah, go and pray. Go to the mountain. Go to the mountain. So if there is flood, for example, our people will say it is the mammy water spirit that has brought that flood. Hmm. They will not tell you that because the bridge that is built there is not calculated mathematically, because the wall that is there is not mathematically, you know, calculated in relation to the amount of rain that comes and the, you know, the, you know, the ton of it and the weight of it and everything, and how it's going to affect the road and the, mm -hmm. the bridge, something that is there. Sunday Adelaide here. If you believe in nation building principles, please like this video, share it with your friends, and let's change our nations together.